Hello, this is Jeffrey Burns from the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine in Philadelphia, where I'm a professor of medicine and pediatrics. I'm also editor-in-chief of Medscape Nephrology. There was an article in the Philadelphia newspaper about a week ago about increasing use of over-the-counter nutritional and herbal type medicines to replace conventional medicines as people have a greater and greater time uh, buying their prescription medicines because they've lost insurance or just because of increasing copays. I mention this because I saw a patient in the office recently uh, who had acute renal failure, it turns out, from what I believe to be some combination of over-the-counter uh, herbal and nutritional supplements. Um, his baseline creatinine was about one, a pretty big guy in his early 50s. Creatinine, for unexplained reasons, went up into the mid-2s. I did a kidney biopsy on him, in fact, uh, and he had a fair amount of uh, fibrosis, periglomerular fibrosis, vascular disease, and interstitial um, fibrosis and tubular atrophy. And it wasn't really clear to me that there was a good explanation for this. Uh, and as I delved deeper and deeper into his history, uh, I got uh, more and more uh, uh, admission from him, in fact, that uh, he'd been taking a variety of these preparations, some of which he had told me about initially, because I do ask at every uh, new patient visit whether or not patients are taking nutritional and herbal supplements. Uh, there was then again another article in our newspaper uh, just last night uh, about uh, potentially dangerous interactions between these herbal uh, and nutritional uh, supplements. Um, so I bring this to your attention. I ask patients about it all the time. Um, it's a very difficult area because I think even one supplement by itself may perhaps not be dangerous. Um, but we really don't know what happens when you combine these together or with prescription medicines. So I'd be curious uh, uh, to find out what people uh, are seeing in their practices uh, in nephrology. Do you ask patients about herbal preparations and nutritional supplements? Uh, and are you finding instances uh, that you think might be uh, due to, um, to these preparations among your patients who have uh, perhaps otherwise unexplained uh, renal failure, maybe hypertension, uh, and so forth? I suspect this is a much, much more common problem uh, than we recognize. So if you can, take an opportunity to respond through the Medscape video blog about your experience with patients who have taken nutritional um, or herbal supplements. Thank you. Again, this is Jeffrey Burns from the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine in Philadelphia.